sunsets. They happen day in and day out. You see sunset photos constantly on your feeds. While you can easily just take out your phone and take a picture of the sunset, but the best sunset images are taken with planning and care. So how do you take a perfect sunset photo? Okay, so you wanna photograph the sunset, but you're not sure how. Today, we'll talk about location scouting, gear, styles, and settings. When shooting the sunset, choose a west-facing location, like the beach or a mountain. But before you head out and shoot, do a little research first. Look up your location on a map or go there a couple hours early. Use the app PhotoPills to see where the sun is going to be at the time of your shoot. When shooting the sunset, you're on the clock, so it's important to have your composition framed up and ready to go when it's game time. So you figured out where to shoot. Now, what gear do we bring? I'll be using the Sony a7R IV with the 16 to 35 for a really wide landscape shot, and I'll bring the 70 to 200 to get a closer view of the sun. When choosing your gear, decide what style you wanna go for. Do you wanna shoot long exposure? Make sure you bring a shutter remote, an ND filter, and a tripod. While this isn't totally necessary, it will give you the best results possible. Having a vision for your dream shot is key. While you could still leave room for spur of the moment creativity, but even that requires a little bit of planning. There are many ways to take a great sunset photo and there is no one right exposure setting, so you are free to play around. Okay, let's take what we've learned and put it into practice. Let's go to the beach. We made it to the beach and I have my camera set and ready to go. I plan on shooting three different styles, the long exposure, a silhouette, and using the telephoto lens. When shooting a long exposure, you want to make sure you use a sturdy tripod dug into the sand to avoid any movement. Keep your ISO low around 100. You want everything in focus, so bring your aperture up to somewhere around f16 and slow your shutter speed to a few seconds. You'll need to do a few tests, but I'll start at two seconds. If you have an ND filter, this will allow you to have a slow shutter speed without getting too bright. It's a good idea to use bracketing on your camera to get three different exposure options from the same photo. When shooting a silhouette, grab a friend and frame them in an interesting way. You can use the rule of thirds for this. Or use a self timer and frame yourself. I'll keep my ISO at 100. You can do anywhere between 100 and 800. Your shutter speed can be on the fast side. Anything above 160 will start to freeze motion in your frame and aperture between f8 and f16. Now that I've done a few creative shots, now I'll take some close-ups with the 70 to 200. Sunset photography is one of the most fun ways to spend your summer. Tag us in all of your sunset photos and let us know if you'd like to see more videos like these in the comments below. I'm Maria and thanks for watching. Okay, Casey, get back in frame. <laughs>